After um, all the screening, the next screening is medical screening to make sure that um, refugees, when they come to the United States, don't have any diseases that they are um, contagious. And they are usually, because um, this medical screening test and uh, exam is valid for six months in a case that, again, something happened, you have your medical exam, everything went well, but maybe terrorist attack or some, something happened in, in the country or in the region where the old program was stopped. In a case that your medical uh, exam expired, you will need to go again through the process. I want to just show, and I will. Um, this is a yes. This is a YouTube about refugee admission. And this um, little YouTube clip, it's actually the first time that in the previous um, administration we actually got information about um, refugee processing that was available on the Department of Health, Homeland Security uh, website. Children and families means that we've made America more. 
more dangerous place. This ignores the reality that anyone who seeks and is approved for refugee status in the United States must first go through a rigorous security screening process. So let's walk through that process and what it looks like for a potential refugee. Meet Rima. Rima and her children have lost their home in Syria. They made the dangerous journey out of the country and now Rima is seeking refugee status in a place where she can keep her children safe. First, Rima must apply for refugee status through the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. This is the international organization in charge of protecting and assisting refugees. For Rima to be considered a refugee, she must show that she's been driven from her home due to a quote, well-founded fear of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, nationality, membership in a particular social group or political opinion, end quote. If Rima meets the above conditions, she may be referred for resettlement in a country such as the United States. But before she can enter the United States as a refugee, Rima must then undergo a security screening process that is more thorough than any other for people entering this country. She'll have a deep background check. Her biographic and biometric information will be cross-checked against law enforcement and intelligence databases. Rima will also have to pass an in-depth interview, including an interview with a specially trained DHS officer to determine her eligibility. If found eligible, she then receives a medical evaluation. From start to finish, this process includes the involvement of the National Counterterrorism Center, the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of State, and the Department of Defense. All refugees, including Syrians, go through these security screening measures, and Syrians receive an enhanced review during this process. Over 23,000 Syrian refugee applicants have been referred to us by the UNHCR. Only about 2,000 have been admitted. Throughout history, we've seen that America has become a better nation by welcoming refugees in times of crisis. So many refugees and their children have gone on to make great contributions to our American society. Albert Einstein and Ilya Wiesel, two Jews displaced by Nazi Germany, went on to become great Americans. We've seen great athletes such as Nadia Comaneci and Lou Day flee communism and the Sudanese Civil War respectively. Taking in refugees at a time of crisis is simply the right thing to do. We can and we will continue to ensure our own security while doing our share to welcome the men, women, and children who are refugees fleeing violence. This is the United States of America. We can, we must, and we will do both these things. where refugees supposed to come and where the numbers were cut. 